Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about the call duck breed and everything you need to know about that breed and if it's the right one for your flock. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So the call duck breed has a fascinating history that includes a foundation in hunting, showing, and even, and eventually human companionship. A bantam breed, the call duck is a compact little duck that is captured the hearts of breeders and fanciers the world over. So stay tuned to learn more about call duck's background and everything you need to know. So let's first start off with the hunting history of the call duck. As it goes with most poultry and fowl breeds, the exact origination is somewhat of a mystery. The call duck, however, has a more solid origin story. To begin with, the call duck is also known as a descendant of the mallard duck. The breed is initially thought to have originated in Asia and eventually imported to the Netherlands where its true purpose was revealed. More on that soon. The call duck breed has various names and eventually the consensus to refer to the breed solely as the call duck was agreed upon. This was due to associations entering the picture and recognizing the breed. With that being said, this plucky little duck was originally referred to as the koi duck or the decoy duck, and for a good reason. While popularity grew in the Netherlands, call ducks usage transformed into somewhat of a hunting tool, hence the name decoy, call, or koi duck. The call duck breed was introduced to Great Britain in the early to mid 1800s, where it was also used as a decoy for hunting. Eventually, the duck was recognized by the APA or the American Poultry Association in the 1870s, and ever since its induction into the APA, the call duck's popularity has skyrocketed and has won most championships out of any other duck breed. Duck hunters utilize the call duck's loud, high-pitched vocalization to lure prey to them while they hunted. In other words, the call duck was the original duck call. And here's how it worked. Hunters would restrain the tame call ducks at the entrance of a trap, and as the ducks made their natural call, wild fowl would respond and fall prey to the trap. So let's answer this question. Can call ducks still be used for hunting? They used to call ducks as decoys has been banned in most regions. In fact, the practice is thought to hinder conservation efforts and lead to the overharvestation of wildfowl. In truth, the practice is unfair to both the call ducks and the wild birds. As mentioned, call ducks were tethered down at the trap entrance and used as bait when used for hunting purposes. Their calls were so loud and high pitched that wild birds can hear them miles and miles away. The call of the domestic duck lured the wild ducks into the trap and once the large breed ducks were in the trap, the smaller call ducks were allowed to leave, but the larger birds were remained trapped. In a way, it was almost too easy for the hunter. Hunters harvested large amounts of birds in this manner. Thus, conservation concerns arose and the call ducks role as a hunting aid came to an end. Now let's talk about the call duck's appearance. The call duck breed could easily be mistaken for a plush stuffed toy with its compact cuteness and irresistible short beak. The adorable little duck is the thing cartoons are made from. It's a small fowl and considered a bantam breed. Bantams are smaller versions of large fowl, but in this case, the call duck is the original or true bantam. That being said, they do look similar to the mallard and are related to the larger breed. Call ducks will come in various colors, including apricot, bibbed, black, blue fawn, dark silver, magpie, pied, silver, and white. The most common colors of the call ducks are black and white. Other colors are available and becoming more and more popular as breeders dote on their beloved breed and continue to develop the call duck through selective breeding. The call duck breed's eyes are strikingly black or dark brown, which only adds to its cuteness. One could say it almost appears as this it has shiny buttons for eyes. As mentioned, the call duck is a small breed of ducks and hens weigh approximately between 15 to 20 ounces, while drakes weigh between 19 to 25 ounces. Now, can you eat call duck breed eggs? Yes, of course you can. Call ducks lay approximately 50 to 150 eggs per year. While you won't have as many eggs as you might with a chicken, you'll still have the opportunity to enjoy a call duck egg from time to time if you're vigilant about collecting eggs. Call duck eggs are usually white, light green, and sometimes blue. In most cases, the eggs will be white. However, they aren't as large as a standard sized duck egg. They more closely resemble a chicken egg. Speaking of eggs, Call duck hens are fantastic mothers and will go broody. This means that they're happy to sit on their eggs and enjoy raising ducklings. Now let's get into the temperament of the call duck. Call ducks are one of the sweetest, most docile breeds of duck, making them perfect for children. They are easy to tame and often kept as pets, 
This little duck has both the cuteness factor and the personality to make a great pet. Not to mention their size makes them even more user-friendly. Most perky or active fowl are thought to be non-friendly, but this couldn't be further from the truth for the call duck. So while the call duck is quite active, it isn't flighty or afraid of its owners if handled and raised as a pet. Additionally, the call duck breed is a bit of a chatterbox. In other words, it's a noisy little duck that likes to call loudly, so it's not really a duck for an urban setting. Let's get into the hardiness of call ducks. Like most ducks, the call duck has a hefty fat layer to keep warm while swimming in cool water. This layer of fat coupled with a thick layer of feathers makes the call duck extremely cold hardy. In fact, keeping call ducks warm in the winter isn't very difficult. As long as the ducks have access to shelter, food, and water, the call duck is a hardy breed that weathers the winter well. In the same vein, call ducks do very well in hot climates. The key to keeping ducks comfortable during the hot summer days is ensuring they can access a pool, pond, or another form of water. If a call duck gets too hot, it knows exactly what to do, and that's to take a quick dip. So can you free range a call duck? Call ducks can be free range as long as they've been trained to return home each night. The difference between call ducks and other domestic duck breeds is that they can fly quite well. And while their ability to fly may cause concern for the bird running away, ducks are apt to sticking around quite well. Their key to free range in call ducks is to train them to return to the coop at night. Naturally, a duck will stay close to home if it knows where the food, water, and shelter are. Ducks are similar to chickens in that they don't wander far if they know they've got it good. Additionally, free-ranging call ducks might be the solution to a torn-up run. For example, ducks kept in confinement often destroy the grass in their runs quickly. If ducks are allowed to roam the yard, there will be less damage to the grass in any specific area. On the other hand, call ducks are easy prey for aerial and ground predators due to their small size. Deciding the free-range call ducks may depend solely on the presence of local predators. So what are call ducks bred for? While call ducks were initially bred for hunting purposes, the breed turned into a show bird as the years went by. Today, the call duck breed is one of the most popular show breeds and one of the most celebrated ducks in the show ring. In fact, the call duck is said to have the most championships of any breed in the US. In other words, this little duck is quite popular. Now, let's talk about who these call ducks are best for. They're a very versatile breed. While they aren't the top choice for eggs or meat, they're perfect for those who want to get into showing, breeding, or just want to have an adorable pet. Call ducks are perfect for children because of their amical personality and are compact in size. Kids can easily handle them while larger breeds are difficult for a child to pick up and care for. Keeping in mind, there's one quality the call duck has brought with it from its earlier days, and that's its loud call. Yes, the call duck is still well known for its loud, high-pitched call. And if you live in the city and have neighbors, you may need to check with them before you get your first call ducklings to make sure they won't mind the extra chatter. So to summarize, the call duck breed is a friendly little duck that's pretty easy to fall in love with. It's perfect for children, hardy in all temperatures with the cuteness of a children's book character. That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. If you enjoy our content, if you learn something new, if we change your perspective, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>